Hi, and welcome back to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at one of the more difficult integer equation problems from the 1984 AMC. So let's see what we have. We want to find the number of triples A, B, C of positive integers which satisfy the simultaneous equation shown. So as an initial survey of the problem, we have uh, three unknowns of positive integers. We have two equations. Um, we do have some opportunities to create some factor groups. The B could be pulled out in this uh, expression. The C could be pulled out as a factor in the uh, bottom equation. Uh, that all looks pretty helpful. Uh, I also notice an opportunity to uh, subtract the equations to create a slightly different equation where the BCs are canceled. So let's go ahead and form that. Uh, the top equation minus the bottom equation would give you uh, AB minus AC is equal to 44 minus 23, which is 21. Now each of these three equations now can have a factor group uh, uh, decomposition, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this uh, equation at the bottom here, pull it over, let's pull out the C term, and that gives us uh, C times A plus B uh, is equal to 23. Uh, this equation here, we can pull out the B and gives us uh, B times A plus C is equal to 44. And this auxiliary equation that we formed can uh, be factored for the A term to give us A times uh, B minus C is equal to 21. Now at this point, we have uh, basically three somewhat equivalent equations that are a, a factor pair on the left and some number on the right. And uh, we can apply the, the, the factor comparison methods that we've, we've seen in other videos at this point. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few to choose from, and then the question is, well, which one should we do first? So we notice that uh, the number of factor combinations that we need to consider on the right uh, has a lot to do with the number that appears on the right. So in the case of a prime number, we only have uh, two possible factor combinations that we need to consider. Uh, 21 is 7 times 3, so it actually has four combinations that we need to consider. Uh, 3 times 7... 7 times 3. Um, this one actually has even more. Uh, 44 is 2 squared times 11. That would have uh, additional factor combinations that need to be considered. <clears throat> and the right uh, factor combination has a slight wrinkle in it in that it actually has a, a, a negative sign. So for B less than C, uh, this term might be negative and we might have to consider positive and negative combinations on the factors on the right. Uh, so that's a complicating factor that we may want to avoid as a first uh, cut at this. So uh, the equation on the left is definitely the first one that you'd want to look at for those reasons. And we notice that there's only two ways that we can line up these factors. Either C is equal to 1, A plus B is equal to 23, or the reverse, C is equal to 23, A plus B is equal to 1. And this is where the, uh, the positive integer comes in really handy because not only is A plus B positive, but because A and B individually are positive, we know that A plus B has to be 2 or larger. And so from that, we see that the only possible assignment is for C to take on the value of 1 and A plus B to take on the value of 23. So from that, we can quickly conclude that uh, C is equal to 1 and uh, A plus B is equal to 23. <clears throat> So from that, we can take the C value of 1 that we've determined and go ahead and plug it into the other two equations. And from that, we find that uh, the second equation can be written as B times A plus 1 is equal to 44, and uh, A times B minus 1 is equal to uh, 21. <clears throat> now, at this point, we still have another choice. We could either tackle the second equation here or the third equation. Uh, despite this negative sign, I still think the third equation is actually easier because we have fewer factor combinations to contend with. Since B is 1 or greater, we know that this factor basically has to be positive. Uh, it could be 0, but 0 is not a, a sensible solution. So uh, in this case, we just have to go down the, the four cases and see what, what values of A and B would be uh, derived from these different factor combinations. So in the case of 1 and 21, A would equal 1, uh, B would equal 22. Uh, for the case of 21 and 1, we find that A would equal to 21, and uh, B would equal to 2. Uh, 3, 7, A, 3, B, 8. 3, 7, 3, uh, that would, 
0.74. And now we need to check these, uh, uh, these, uh, these equation solutions with the uh, third equation just to make sure that uh, what we're doing here is consistent with all three equations. So if we plug A equal 1 into here, we have 2 times 22, so that's 44. That's a valid solution. Uh, 21 and 2, 21 plus 1 is 22. B times 2 is 44. That's a valid solution. Uh, A is equal to 3 would give 4 times B of 8. That's 32. That's not a valid solution. Uh, and likewise, uh, A is, is 7. That's 8. B is 4 times 4, 32. That's not a valid solution. So we find that the only possible solutions that are consistent with all three equations are uh, uh, A, B, C is equal to uh, 1, 22, and then C is always equal to 1. And then the second solution is A is equal to 21, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 1. So that's uh, two solutions in total, and that's choice C, 2.